HTML document right here and
nice. So now let me copy this and paste these five times since we and let me change this into portfolio 2 here we have the port here we have the image so first when i save and refresh here we have another project i'm not going to waste your time everything is similar from here so i'm not going to waste your time so i just add this portfolio offline so here we have right all right this is the font awesome icons right here that that i have found from fontawesome.com so having this when i save and refresh here we have the projects right here here we have different projects so go if you want this project go ahead and you can find it in my youtube channel this is the html part now let's jump right into having this now let's jump right into to design this project type so using this class selector project box and we have an element selector img so using this sentence selector right here project box and img we have we are going to style the image right here so with for the image 100 percent object fit cover border radius 30 pixel cursor pointer and execute run the program right here refresh the web page right here here we have oh yeah now again using this class selector right here project container let me add some property value pair so here we have display flex flex wrap wrap justify content space between align item center gap 1.5 frame and width 100 percent refresh the web page again now as you can see here nothing will happen right so over here here we have project lay here we have project box class selector as you can see here here we have again project box here we have again project box so using this class selector let me add some property value pair here we have flex we have flex one one pioneering and background right here white and box shadow again here we have margin bottom 30 pixel border again here we have transition cursor pointer overflow overflow hidden so this is this is right here I remove this transition it's not necessary for the time being it's not necessary right so now let me change the background color using var then we have a text color so after that save and refresh the web page all right here we have right that's cool now let me add some hover over effect over this project box so first here we have project box and now using this project box and image when i click the project box then when i click this project box when i click this image right here the image we are going to make this image animate or we are going to make a transition effect over this image so to do this we use a pseudo class selected hover right here and transform scale 1.4 and border radius 30 pixel so again transition 0.5 second is all right after that save and refresh the web page 
again when I click this here we have a transition effect that's pretty nice now let me style the content which is found inside this project layer class inside this inside this development have a class name project layer so here you have some property value pair position for this absolute left zero and bottom zero if the position for this child element absolute the position for the parent element should be relative for this case the parent element is project box that's why we say we say position relative so with 100 percent hate 100 percent we have a background color right here having linear gradient and display flex align item center justify content also center color we have text color flex direction of column text align center padding zero from top and bottom and five pixel from left and right and then transform translate in the x direction let's say zero percent all right after that save and refresh the web page here we have the text right here all right that's good now let me as you can see here when we hover the mouse over this project type we we have right here so now let me change this transition in the x direction into minus 100 percent and then we are going to make this project in the x direction into zero all right so now let me add some transition effect right here transition 0 0.5 second is in is so now when i hover the mouse this content which is found inside this project layer will translate in the x direction from negative 100 percent to zero percent to the original position just like this one right that is pretty nice oh yeah now let me design this text right here the paragraph and an h4 what does it mean what's this this an h4 element and also the paragraph element first and foremost let me style this h4 element here we have some property value pair for this h4 element font size 2.5 rim line height 3 rim text transform capitalize save and refresh here we have right that's awesome and pretty nice now as you can see here here is it now using using this class selector right here using this element selector right here anchor tag now let me style this font awesome icons which is found from font awesome so this icon is found from fontawesome.com head over fontawesome.com and find any icon that you interested in So here we have for this anchor element display and line flex line item center justify content also center with 2.5 rim and height also 2.5 rim and border radius 50% and background color we have a background color var and main color it's better to use short color right here all right after that save and refresh after and then when I hover over the mouse here we have right now again let me style this right here so here we have inside here we have an i element right here which is icon element so 
we have text color we have color text color and then save and refresh again here is it now let me change the text the text color right here bar black dark black so now let me add hover over effect over this Seymour link so hover using pseudo class selector hover now let me add some property value pair color now it's better to take this property value pair so copy this and then paste right here come over here and paste right here after that transition let's say all save and then refresh here we have all right now let me let me remove this text color it's not necessary right here so remove this text color and refresh again here we have nice right So over here, it's, you can change in the translate in the y direction. Let's change this translate in the y direction, and see what will happen. So here we have refresh the web page. As you can see here, it it translates from 100 to 0%, right? Now let me change this negative 100 into 100 percent and observe the result transform translate in the y direction by 100 percent here we have right so you can choose whatever you want the choice is up to you right all right having this now let's jump right into to create the contact section for this personal portfolio website here we have the contact section so as always now let me comment out this in order to organize our code website contact section start from here as always now let me create a section element having a class name contact section and an id value contact inside this section element we are going to nest an h1 element having a class name which is reusable class name section heading and now add some demo text right here contact and then we have a span element right here inside this we are going to add another demo content again inside this inside this section element we are going to nest an h4 element a paragraph element having a class name contact para and then again we are going to create another div element having a class name contact info oh contact info right here oh yeah inside this contact info we are going to nest another div element having a class name contact info underscore box again inside this we have an i element 
which is which is a place where we add fontals micans and then we have an h3 element and we have a paragraph element so i'm not going to waste your time so pause the video i pause the video and, and then add some dummy content right here so here we have as you can see here here we have a paragraph element having some demo text and here we have an h1 element h4 element again paragraph element and then here we have contact info contact info box inside this we have font out some icons and we have an h3 and paragraph elements this is found from fontawesome.com we need to have, we need to close this development right here all right save and refresh the web page here we are right now copy this and paste this three times Again, I'm not going to waste your time to add some demo text right here. So now I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to add some demo text and different font or some icons right here. So here we have. So here we have for phone and here we have website and here we have email address and then here we have location here we have location again this is found from fontalsam this icon is found from fontalsam.com you can head over fontalsam and search any icons that you interested in after that save and refresh here we have oh yeah this is the HTML part for the upper contact session for this personal portfolio website now let's jump right into to style this contact section so using this class selector contact section and h4 element selector now let me add some property value pair for this the content which is found inside this h4 font size 1.5 rim and line height we have 1.7 rim and color we have var let's say text color after that save and refresh here we have an h4 element now we are going to target this paragraph element the content which is found in this paragraph element so using this class selector contact para line height 1.5 frame color gray and here we have contact para right here and then my padding bottom on a pixel after that save and refresh the web page here we have now using this class selector we have oh we miss over here one development which is contact info so now let me create this development contact info right here and then cut cut this and paste inside this contact info
All right. Now, using this contact info, now let me add some property value pair. We have display flex align item center justify content also center and gap 1.5 frame. Here we have background color having linear gradient and we have the image. We have the image path right here. Image IMG and we have the image name. So background size cover background position center save and refresh here we have right having a nice linear background image now let me style this again using this contact info box class selector here we have contact info box so we are going to add some property value pair for this flex one one tuning flex wrap wrap text align center padding 60 pixel from top and bottom and 10 pixel from left and right save and refresh here we have right that's pretty nice after that now let me style this let me style the content which is found inside this paragraph element right here so font size 1.2 rim which is 1.2 times the global font size 60 pixel and color gray after that save and refresh here we have right that's awesome now let me style this h3 lemon So font size, we have font size to rim, padding bottom 10 pixel, padding top 10 pixel. We have a color, color var. We are going to use main color right here. After that, save and refresh the web page. Here we have right. Oh yeah, now let me style these icons right here. So to style this icon, we are going to use this element selector I. So we have descendant selector right here and we have an element selector I. Font size 1.2 rim, color, less I, color, bar text color and border to pixel solid bar main color and padding 5 pixel padding bottom circle pixel after that save and refresh oh yeah this is the first contact session for this personal portfolio website now let's jump right into to create the lower contact section for this personal portfolio website. All right, now as always, let me give a comment out here, lower contact form. All right, now let me give a comment right here, lower contact form. Now, we are going to create a div element having a class name contact box. Inside this div element, we are going to nest another development having class name contact form and then inside this we have a form element right method post and then we are going to create a development having class name form input underscore so inside this we are going to create an input field the first input field which is the name field name equals name and then type text placeholder let's say enter name here copy this and 
paste right here for the email field so for the email field the type should be email and name email placeholder enter your email is required field this field is required and also this name field should be required all right now we have a subject field so let's say name subject type text and placeholder in the subject here after that we are going to create a text area field so we have an element which is text area having name attribute message and here we have rows and columns so delete columns and rows equals three and then placeholder enter write your message not more than let's say 250 character so again we have an attribute which is maximum length so maximum length the maximum character is 250 we need 250 character right so the maximum length equals 250 and then we are going to create a button a call to action button or a message button right here so we have an anchor element have a class name input btn and name submit as well as we have the type attribute right here the value for this type attribute is submit right and we have a message right here send message after that save and refresh the web page Here we have right, here we have name field, here we have email field. Alright, now having this outside of this development, having a class name contact form, let me add another development having a class name contact map. Now over here we are going to add a Google map right here. So head over on google map and find your location where you are living so after that then click this toggle menu and then share click on this share and embed right here after that after that click on embed the map and then after after that click over this copy HTML. And then paste right here. Here we have right. So when I save and refresh, here is it. Oh yeah, you can zoom and you can zoom in and zoom out this map just like this one. Oh yeah, this is how you can add a Google map into your website. Now let me style this HTML part using CSS using style CSS. So lower here we have a class selector contact box and display flex justify content space between align item center gap 2.5 rim. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have right now again use using this class selector contact form. Let me add some property value here. Flex 1, 1, 40 rim. Here we have. Again, using this contact map plus selector, we have again flex 1, 1, 40 rim. So again, using this element selector iframe, let me add some property value here in order to customize this map. 
with 37 pixel, 37 rim. That's why here we have, right? So having this, we have this map has an inline styling right here. So as you can see here, with 600 and so it's better to remove this inline styling. After that, we have external styling with 37 rim and 8, 28 rim. Save and refresh. Here is it. Oh, yeah. And also using this class selector input pointer in for input box. Let's say with 100%. Again, using this class selector, we have we have input pointer right here. Let me add some property value pair with hundred percent padding, 0.7 rim, margin one rim, and zero rim font size 1.5 rim. Background transparent, border to pixel solid, having the main color. Having this when I save and refresh, as you can see here, nothing will display since we made a mistake right here. We have pointer input class. Oh, yeah. We have input pointer right here. So using this, so let me change this class selector instead of input pointer, we have pointer input. So copy this and paste right here and paste right here again. After that, when I save and refresh, here we have right Oh yeah, this is a style for these input fields. Now, again, using this class selector right here, pointer input, we have focus pseudo class selector. So for this focus pseudo class selector, we have background color, cursor, and color font color right here while typing so when I save and refresh the web page here we have right so here we have placeholder for the placeholder here we have the text right the text color for the placeholder, here is it. Save and refresh. Here we are, right? Oh yeah, what will happen for the text area? I think we made a mistake for this text area field. As you can see here, we have, we have no any class for this text area field. So let me create a, a class which is pointer input pointer pointer input so after that here we have right here we have a nice contact form having name field email field in area message entry area right now let me create a footer section here we have a div element having its name footer section. So inside this, we have a paragraph element having this content right here. All right, reserved. So save and refresh. Here we have right. So now using this class selector footer section, let me add some 
property value pair. We have the station class selector and we have background and text align for footer section and we are going to target this paragraph element color and padding 40 pixel font size 1.3 so when i save and refresh here we have all right this is the final section how you can create a complete fully responsible personal portfolio after that we are going to make this website fully responsible for any device now in order to determine whether this website is fully responsible or not right click and inspect the web page here we have as you can see here this website is not responsible for small devices so we are going to make this website fully responsible for any device using media query first we are going to find this navigation bar right here head over fontawesome.com and find bars after that copy the code snippet and then come over here and paste right here after that we are going to create an id value like menu icons and then using this id value menu icon let me add some property value pair for this menu icon so font size let's say 2.5 frame and then color text color var text color so when i save and refresh here we have right oh yeah now over here we are going to add another property value pair which is display none so refresh the web page again all right this toggle menu will disappear let's jump right into media query that enables us to make this website fully responsible Rolling up over black Cadillac, high heel boots and a sexy body full of tats. Baby's bad, oh baby's had a bad. After her, there ain't no coming back. Wanna take a run at that? I think she's feeling me. Turn it up a few degrees. My imagination of her body gets the best of me. Oh God, she's such a tease. Bitten lips, bruised knees. I'm addicted to her, need her touching me. Cause she got a bad little waist, and we tearing down this place. Off the liquor that we chase, got some meat. To the face, baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, rice, so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get a play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine
Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headache stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that'll give you relief. There's something that'll have what you need. What you need. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it. And I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all that.
greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to write my own story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring. I just want a life that is worth every day exploring. I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great this is a statement to appreciate all that is vacant it's just for the taking if you make up your mind you can take it never complacent i would work in a mansion or basement yeah there's no replacement for persistence it's a patience yeah in this life i want to be soaring to feel sun inside when it's pouring and i'll fight till anxiety is boring i'm so sick of my mind's extortion my whole life i just wanted someone who would notice me my whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great
for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless. Uh, a sea of the aimless. I don't want to be one of the nameless. I'm going to wake up with the mindset that one day I'm going to make it. And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations. Don't try to stop me. I exist to remember your story. I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory. Yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring. I just want a life that is worth every day exploring. I my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Appreciate all that is vacant. It's just for the taking. If you make up your mind, you can take it. I'm never complacent. I would work in a mansion or basement. Yeah, there's no replacement for persistence. It's a patience. Yeah, in this life, I wanna be soaring to feel sun inside when it's pouring. And I'll fight till anxiety is boring. I'm so sick of my mind's extortion. My whole life. I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great